Everybody stay calm. Do not panic. But today is the most important Hearts of Iron 4 event in the past 4 years. The long-awaited Andorra mod has released. Look at it! It's there in all its glory. 6k population, 1 manpower, 2 factor. Damn. Holy hell. I've been only playing nations with manpower in single digits lately, but this one is gonna be fun, because the mod is made by the guy that made Spain Time Machine. So buckle up, because we are in for some crazy business. Ah, oh, look at this. This is peak hearts of Viren for so many paths. So many possibilities to end up in the insane asylum here. It's just glorious. You can do so much stuff with this focus tree. You can core Europe while being democratic, I believe. You can go fascist and core the entire world if you kill all the majors. You can core both Americas. You can unite with Russia or even form the Roman Empire and that's what we're gonna do today. Oh, you can also form the Carolingian Empire, but that's in essence just a lamer Rome. So yeah, there are two ways of forming Rome in this mod, either by going with this path, King Boris the first, or or by going with the Pope. And from what I've heard, the Pope is the most interesting path, so let's go. By denouncing the French, oh, this is so good. You get to form Rome and shit on the French. This is amazing. Okay, we are ruled by a random guy, I don't care about him. We got medieval institutions, whatever that is supposed to mean. Anarchy strikes, there are anarchists in Andorra. You tell me that out of 6,000 people, you found some to be anarchist. We got two figureheads. We are subjugated by France, basically. We got no army and a shitty economy. And oh, now I understand what this means. We are probably making the children work in the factories a little bit more than in the rest of the world. And yeah, even if you do that, out of 6,000 people, you cannot find that many to work. So our industry will suck. I get it. Oh, we can even build stuff. Let's build a military factory. Sometimes in the 1950s, I hope they will not ban child labor by then. Next up, we're gonna expel the French. This is exciting! The people have been united under Catholicism. All five residents of Andorra. Now let's do the most cursed thing ever, social Catholicism, to remove the anarchy strikes. Also got some manpower, so... Let's hire the Episcopal representative. Compliance gain, nice. Next up, the Sovereign Prince of the Valley. We're gonna place a bishop in charge, of course, to lead us to greatness. We also got access to those decisions to get stability, war support, or a civilian factory. By doing some church investments, okay, I guess. But the church gets a little bit devilish when money is involved. So I don't think if I should abuse this button that much. There he is, the bishop. He got foreheads for days. I do not want to be rude, but this guy looks like a fucking finger. Next up, of course, we have to fix the manpower problem by making a Catholic army and materializing able body men out of nowhere. Oh, we changed color and we have a new flag. We are no longer Romanian LARPers. But are doing our very own thing now. Also, wait a goddamn minute. I only realized this now. What do you mean no armed forces? What the fuck is this then? This division has a whole lot of 100 men in it. Is this not an army? That's an insult to the greatness of Andorra. Subscribe to the channel right now if you want to see more Roman Empire. Or don't do it, because the next video is a Roman Empire either way. I'm trying to reach 50k though until the end of this year, so that would help me either way. Please do it. I also have a Patreon link in the description that keeps me going. And you can join it for only one single dollar, so think about it. Thanks. Back to the video. The Spanish Civil War just ignited. Now, this is quite important, because there is a little secret branch in this part of the focus tree. And in 1937, we are supposed to get an event with a Spanish guy fleeing to our nation and we must hire him. Let's also get two more divisions now and a bunch of generals. We need to prepare for war because we got some decisions here to prepare a Catholic uprising in Spain and then we straight up just declare war on them. So yeah, this one division with 
zero strength who want to do. Oh, yeah, you know what? I I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, this is not an army. What we had there was just a police division or something. But now we have one. So why is this still here? Got you with that one. I would like to get the 2% recruitable pop, but this probably means like 200 men. So let's get the economic reformer. It will serve us better, I believe. Or maybe I should have just saved political power for this focus. But who knows? Not me, most certainly. Need I say again? How much I despise this thing. It's okay though, the game is making it up for me. Cause look what they did to Italy. It's fucking glorious. And I swear I had no intervention in this. There is also the Vatican. Our competition. They are communists though, so I don't know how that works. But everybody knows, Andorra is the true heir of Rome. I'm preparing a Catholic uprising in Spain now. Let's see. Oh, is that it? I just have to infiltrate in the States. Okay. Yeah, I kind of needed political power for that. Eh, it is what it is. Let's get two more divisions and a bunch of Russians. Oh, this is the event we were waiting for. We need to invite him to stay, of course. And we're gonna get him as an advisor. He's not very useful, though. Oh, well, I mean, he is, but I don't have an industry to leverage him. Now I need 30 more PP. And we need for everything to finish. So I guess we have time for one more focus. Let's get one infrastructure then. I spawn two more divisions. Two of them I cannot delete. Fuck this shit. The 28th of May. Andorra intervenes in the Spanish Civil War. And we actually got to occupy half of Spain. We got 20 divisions of this template. Nice. Let's change them immediately. And off to the front you go, boys. Now let's empower the Spanish Episcopate. Getting a lot of cores because we don't core anything now. Oh no, we do. Okay, we're just gonna core the rest of Spain, I presume. I even got access to the sea. A dockyard. Can you believe it? Our nation never seen the sea. But I did it. I brought the sea to the Andorians. Decide to take this city and capitulate the Carlists, I think. Their entire army is in this style, so... Are they encircled? Oh yeah, they are. But we cannot push. It's fine, it's fine. We're gonna wait for the right time to strike them down. Oh yeah, I, I don't know how the fuck, but... Maximalist Portugal is at war with Germany, Hungary and Sweden. If anybody could present a well-articulated thesis on the reason of this war, is welcomed to let it in the comments. I have no fucking idea. There we go, we caught the entirety of Spain. Spain. Now we absolutely need to do the focus. Use the Opus Dei. Oh, it says right there that I need to do it before 1940. And that's basically the secret path. Because this guy will die sometime in 1940 and it's gonna get replaced with this guy that unlocks more stuff. Also, I tried to push a little bit and I can't. I mean, yeah, my army looks like this. I also got some bonuses against everybody until 1939. And I do have those buffs. So it should be easier now. Let's try to pull an encirclement here. My army is still not fully supplied. I need 1k guns. Let's also try to give them artillery. I know I don't have enough, but let's see how we stand. Oh, not that much. We're gonna have the equipment in no time. And we did actually manage to pull the encirclement. Several encirclements, actually, because look at this. Don't think I can actually kill those guys. Yeah, they're a bit too strong for me, so let's chill. Now, the rest of our political tree is locked until we control Madrid. So let's actually work on the army a little bit more. Oh, fuck. It's taking me so long to capitulate the Spains that my guy died. Well, this cut me a little bit off guard, but this is the last relevant event. We need to elect Jose Maria Escriva. Well, I just started training a couple more divisions. It's a bit harsh to push with only 27 on a front this large. But I did manage to encircle a lot of enemy divisions. There are 250,000 casualties on the enemy side. So yeah, I'm kind of depopulating Spain here. Also, one very interesting thing. I am absolutely encircled by the Axis powers. Because look what they did. They're already at war with the Allies. And the US is in it. Can you believe it? Well, joke's on me for thinking that I will have a normal Hearts of Iron campaign, I guess. Oh, and we got two more focuses. One industrial buff and American mission. <laughs> yeah, this is the good cook. shit. There is something weird going on. So, I'm part of the Spanish Civil War, right? Right. I am still affected from the unplanned offensives, but I cannot interact with them. I cannot plan my own. So it is very difficult to push in the states that have the unplanned offensive, which, you know, is kind of bad. Like, it's taking a couple months to push a tile. 
so I think this should get fixed somehow. Well, at the moment that I'm playing this, the mod has been out for like one hour. So it's understandable that it's not perfect from the very beginning. Okay, another bug happened. Or it's actually not a bug, it's how the game was supposed to work. But the conditions are different here. So I capitulated the other Spain. And the game took that as the Spanish Civil War stopping. So they deleted the army of Spain. They have six divisions left. So I don't think this is really fair. But you know what? I will take it. I have to fight the entirety of Europe next. So that won't be fun either way. And if my ascension to all of Spain was delayed a couple more months, it would have been that much worse. Alright, we did it. Andorra is now basically a colonial empire. Holy shit, the UK owns all of Africa almost. Oh, and Russia blew up. I forgot to mention that. Well, let's get ready for war with the Axis, I guess. I'm gonna go up to limited conscription. I got 26 million core population and only 300k manpower. Not that hot. I'm also gonna edit my template, making it a 21 width. I got 50 factories! God damn it! When did that happen? Okay, let's ramp up production then. For everything. Deus Vult! Our guy is gonna get the holy Andoran Emperor spirit, which is basically useless. But it paves the way for more focuses. Like this one. Spain has this system in vanilla, I think. We can just ask people to bend the knee again in the Americas. So let's issue ultimatums, left and right. Costa Rica rejects, Ecuador rejects, El Salvador rejects, everybody rejects. Nobody is afraid of tiny little Andorra, but it is fine, because we are gonna show them. Oh man, I was so happy that I managed to conquer Costa Rica without them joining the allies. And now the USA is enforcing the Monroe Doctrine on me. Fuck this shit, man. What the fuck? Wait, what? That event said that I white piece with Costa Rica. I annexed them already. The peace still went on. I didn't lose anything? W? If I just keep going. How would that sit with you, Mr. Olf? Would you be willing to let this one slide? Maybe I can uh, lobby for it. Like a true American. Yeah, well, they did fucking not. I took Nicaragua City, but they have another victory point, so they didn't capitulate. Which is kinda sad. Oh my fucking god! Those were the fuckers that were pushing me around. Look at them, they fucking exploded. How did this even happen? This is so rare, I often forget it's a possibility. A lot of countries agreed to my demand, by the way, like Cuba, Santa Domingo, Paraguay and Uruguay. So it's going great. I'm the puppet master now. This hungry looks terrifying. And this faction looks terrifying. No, oh, Japan is in it too. <laughs> Back to doing nothing and cowering in fear. Ah, damn it. I thought I could be as smart as here. But now they rejected me. They would have made a nice puppet, but it wasn't meant to be. Okay, guys, it's been a while. I took my time to prepare for the war. It's 1944. I did pretty much everything. I also demanded the Mediterranean islands from everybody. And guess what? Everybody refused me except France, which gave me course. But Italy got so offended by me asking for Sardinia that they just declared war on me. They are communists, but that did not stop them from joining the fascist faction, of course. There are plenty of communists here. Funny enough, Russia... Oh, they are free. They were the dominion of uh, Japan earlier. Okay, so this is what I have to fight. I fought bigger factions in the past, so I'm not worried. And I only have to capitulate France, Germany, Italy, Japan, Hungary, Norway, Russia, and Sweden. I have no idea how the fuck Lithuania took control of all of Poland. If you guys remember, this was Russian, and this was all German, but they just annexed it at some point. So why the fuck aren't they a major power? They bullied Russia and Germany at once, and they still live to tell the tale, so I don't know. Britain wants me in the faction, fuck you Britain. I'm not lowering to your level. They even took Portugal from me. It's not like I caught it or anything, but I had it. I can also annex all my puppets, but that won't be a good idea, because somebody will just take them. Also, the USA is back in one piece, and they are communists now. Can't wait for all the Yankees to go crazy in the comments. Okay, so tell me Italy, what do you got? On all my fronts, there are only Italian divisions. There is not a single French one on the border here. There is an Albanian one, but no France. They do have a couple active fronts, but they're gonna flood my border with divisions now. Oh, there we go. France joined. I really need to protect North Africa, because this is where pretty much all my steel is. 
So I'm gonna try my hardest not to lose that. Upgraded. Oh fuck, I forgot to upgrade my divisions. Okay, let's do it live. There we go. 27 with the basics. Oh, I don't have enough artillery. What? Let's fix that real quick. And now we just wait. Hi. So, uh, hello. It's me again. I took a step back in this campaign and just chilled. So it's 1948. I took half of North Africa to secure my steel supply. And after that, I just did nothing. This port here did not help me that much. I think there is a division coming here once a month. But despite all of that, the Axis got 27 million casualties. And for some reason, it's only me and Australia and its puppets that count here. So the vast majority of the casualties are mine. And that's because they just don't stop attacking me. Germany is on all adult serve. Italy is. Hungary. Lithuania. And pretty much everybody except Russia, which is on service by requirement. And France. I also employed the best strategy ever and I just let my enemy conquer two entire continents they are literally steamrolling the allies they even invaded australia and that's because the uk is basically alone in the faction the usa is in the mutual assistance block they are also to with everybody i even ran out of building anything in this country i just went ahead and upgraded all my railways and i transformed galicia into albania and because of that the economy kind of stagnated and i cannot permit that the capitalist spirit has to expand so we must acquire new land for the economy to grow further and that means two minutes of time lapse that is sped up way too much so you cannot even understand what's happening enjoy <laughs> Okay, was that enough time lapse for one video? Because I have around one hour of footage. And it's gonna take me a couple more hours to actually capitulate all my goddamn enemies, because there are a lot of them, and I'm already overextended. Because, fun fact, I am not coding anything else. 
And this all complaints is useless, cause I killed all the population available for conscription in the nations I conquered. So manpower is kinda rough, I only have 30 million core population and I am on service by requirement, I need many more divisions if I am to get pushing into Russia. So unfortunately the budget for time lapses in this video was cut short. I hope you, the viewers, understand. I got like 10 divisions encircled in the east front here. Supply is not great and there is no way for me to get rid of the Magino line. I wasn't able to produce an air force this game because go figure Spain does not have any aluminium except for these two right here and that's all. And now I need a bunch of rubber which I forgot to build and I don't have enough space to build it in. So yeah, it's pretty fun. Oh, by the way, casualties are up to 54 million and nobody gives a shit. Like, honestly, there are so many divisions left. And Russia has a lot of manpower still. I still have to capitulate Russia, Sweden, Italy, Norway, Hungary and Japan. All of those are gonna be pretty easy to capitulate, except one. And I'm gonna let you guess which one. Well, this is the new one. Guess what? The Axis capitulated the Allies. Because only the UK was a major. So now look at this huge ass Chinese France. They will get millions of manpower out of this. I love it. Well, at least they took out New Zealand and Australia for me. But again, the Germans have 1 million manpower now. Because they are holding Indonesia. And yeah, it's safe to say that I got a little bit stuck here. I'm overextended and there are 20 division stacks everywhere. So yeah, I won't be able to do anything else until I actually get an air force capable of dropping nuclear warheads. So see you guys in the 60s, probably. Well, at least I got a free Portugal. It's not like I caught it or anything, but I own it now. And we all know the meaning of life is to accumulate private property. I just found a golden opportunity for my cause of recreating Rome. I lost the Polyric Islands a while ago and look at this. The enemy decided to stack hundreds of divisions on the two little islands and huh look at this they're not placing any planes above them <laughs> and it so happens that i have 44 nukes that i did not get the chance to use yet so let's make a hundred divisions disappear by repeatedly nuking them <laughs> when they get low enough strength they just disappear Look at that. They are all gone. Let's do that again. And I think this is the way I'm gonna destroy the enemy armies from now on. Just waiting for them to put more divisions here. Unfortunately, this method is nuclear warhead intensive. So it takes a lot of nukes to make those divisions dissolve. And oh shit, I am already almost out. I have to chill. I like this too much. 70 million casualties now getting insane. I also captured this board, but again, there are not a lot of divisions coming into it. I really think Paradox nerfed this shit without telling us. Oh my god, I finally got superiority. For the Magino line, it's time for those hundreds of divisions to pay with fire and blood. And a big deal of radiation sickness. Oh yeah, and death. I forgot about death. They're all gonna die. Gruesomely, by the way. I waited so long for this. Oh. This is just so satisfying, man. This is several hours later, 1950 fucking 5. This is starting to take longer than a goddamn world conquest. And I'm 100% sure it's gonna morph into one. Cause look at everything the Axis holds. It's basically the whole entire world. All I have to do next is kill the USA. And I will do that gladly. Anyway, I just capitulated all the Italian nations in the north. Encircled this pocket here. I'm gonna kill it now. And then I'm gonna move further down the Italian peninsula. Casualties are up to 112 million, the Russians lost almost 50 million, 43 of which from me. The Americans are barely doing anything. I got 93% of the war score. 1.4 million land combat damage. What the actual fuck? Also, Latvia fucking annexed Lithuania. I don't know how, they were in the same faction. I think they just asked them for the territory and they gave it to them. So they are the Baltic unitary state now. They core those two states, but those two not. And Poland is free again. Is the worst part about it. The Balkans are finally mine. It is a fun thing to do. Gather up all your friends and take a shot. Each time the Balkans get invaded throughout the history. Actually, do not do that. Because you are all gonna get alcohol poisoning. I'm about to capitulate Sweden. Casualties are up to 124 million. And I am still going strong. Been at it for 15 hours. Holy shit. I have been AFK for a couple of them. 
but it's still way longer than I thought it would take me to form Rome as Andorra, but in hindsight, I should have expected it, I think. I had 1.8k weekly manpower since 1940, so please, somebody do the math here. It surely is a lot of manpower, because I lost 4.5 million myself. And keep in mind that that is mostly from just holding shit. I think I already had like one and a half millions when I first started to push into France. And I gathered at least two more million while I was holding after Germany capitulated. So this shit is just crazy. Can you believe that Russia is on 200k manpower on scrapping the fucking barrel? You don't? Well, I can because I killed 50 million people. Oh, the length that I go to in order to form the Roman Empire. The Baltic Unitary State is about to fall. How the fuck did this thing become a major but not Lithuania? I don't get this game. So, so silly. Okay, four now remain. Swedish, Norway, Japan, Turkey, and the third Rome. Where is Swedish Norway, you may ask? Well, it's all the way up here in the Arctic Circle. I'm sure those Norwegians are having a great time up here. So, let's make it a whole bunch worse for them. It's okay, Denmark. You don't have to thank me. I'm doing this out of the goodness of my own heart. And let's do it again, for good luck. In the battles to come. Good luck. Next spike. I didn't cut it in time, but it was there. This is Russia done. I got uh, 3 million <laughs> manpower from doing that, okay. And now there is only Japan to take care of. Small problem. They are all the way on the other side of the world. And I'm still at war with a couple of fellas. So I'll have to take care of that real quick. And by real quick, I mean it's gonna take me one entire fucking hour. I hate this game. We got to the East Coast, but it seems like the Americans got ahead of me. Japan only has like 50 divisions left, and most of them are in the mainland. So this isn't really their accomplishment, it's mostly mine. But I'm gonna let it slide for today. I just asked for military access, and I'm sending a whole goddamn army there. And yeah, they're the only major, so this fucking war is finally gonna be over after 130 million casualties i don't even know how the world looks anymore what's capitulated and what's not i will have a shock when that happens and there it fucking finally is i have 100 of the worst score oh, it's embarrassing for the usa I'm gonna give them their Japanese protectorate though, just to mock their inability of doing anything in this war. And I'm gonna take everything else. Why is Communist China so big? I'm afraid of the big ones. They can hurt me easily. Oh my god, an achievement. As Andorra occupy Romania and Chad, what the fuck? Okay, this guy had enough time to make fucking achievements for this. We're gonna get this one right away. And oh my fucking god, as Andorra proclaimed the Andorran Empire and conquered the world. Best ending. Nobody. This one right here is the best ending. The Roman ending. Sacrum Imperium Romanum. Why is the name in Siberia? Oh my fucking god. It's because Tanutov isn't it. The flag is cool too. Got the achievement. And now I have 162 million core population. Okay. I can also reintegrate shit, so let's go. They are a bit expensive, but it's fine. Oh, 390 million now. That's beautiful. Let's also click all of those, whatever the fuck they are. Oh, yeah, I court South American nations, yeah. Right, right, right. Why the fuck do I own the Yucatan? I don't get that, but it's okay, I don't need to know. What's important now is that I have a border with the USA through Canada. So let's draw our invasion plans. I have a feeling I'm gonna enjoy this a lot. Why the fuck do they have so many majors? The American Congo is a major? What the fuck happened to Africa? What? Why is this guy the same color as me? That bothers me the most. Oh my god, this is disgusting. I should have checked this shit out. Okay then, under those circumstances, I will need a couple more divisions. Just a couple. I don't understand why the game lags out when I am training divisions in late game. But this is what I have to deal with. And it's kind of annoying. This is the third day of me trying to finish this campaign. So I'm sorry everybody, but the downfall of the mutual assistance block will have to happen off camera. We are of course gonna watch the fireworks together though. Because those are beautiful. Almost 2 million Americans dead instantly. There we go, this did not take that much time. The Americans were nothing for the glory of the Roman Empire.
Empire. And there it is, folks. Andorra into the Roman Empire. 94% of the world conquest. Only got to annex my puppets and click the last decision to restore order in Arabia. And no, I'm not gonna spend time conquering the last remaining nations. There is no chance for that in the world. I am sick of world conquest. It's gonna make as much money as the Liechtenstein video. Oh, well, okay, in that case, you don't have to tell me twice. See you when the world is cleaned up, I guess. Can anybody explain why Tanutuva has 800k manpower? They just lost 150k fighting me. And I can't capitulate them. Just how? Is this just from Mark's portrait? It's 1960. That's 24 years. If they had this since the beginning of the game, they would have accumulated half a million manpower. And they got more than that. What the fuck? What is this sorcery? Alright, I think this is it. This was a very stupid idea going for a world conquest because this shit just took two more hours. It's so stupid to do world conquests as non-aligned or frankly anything other than fascist the fast justifications are just too good man but this should be it for everybody oh no never mind they are not in the factions okay i thought they will just all join and it would be easy to capitulate them all at once but apparently no i was mistaken once more ah that means i have to naval invade madagascar doesn't it yeah 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 it fucking does god damn it yeah, that's it. Sacrum Imperium Romanum. As far as the eyes can see. Andorra World Conquest. Too bad I'm not getting the achievement. Because I did not make an Andorian Empire. I did make the best empire though, so I'm happy with that. Those are all my cores. Basic Roman borders, plus a little bit more here and there. I core East Timor for some reason. And I also have cores on all of Latin America. Except French Guiana, the Latin USA states and Quebec. So I want just this for all the Latin people that are not part of the empire here. Anyway, yeah, this was the Andorra mod. I've been waiting to play it ever since it got announced. And yeah, I think it would have been more fun if I wasn't at war with the world since 1940. But no matter what, I prevailed. So this was it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. And as always, I would like to thank my Patreons for supporting me every single month. Flossy, Tommy Leawan, Gabe's Licor, Jack M, Erika Mellerheim, Dante Mantis, Griffin Dame, Luminex, Senses, Colecraft, T3D, Anatolian Turk, Joseph Moran, King of the Dirts, Lucky, Cookie God, 231, Yaroslav Kryukov, Santiago, Dr. Meep, JDF Ninja, Igrolf the Nord, and Poop Pants Joe. Thank you guys again, and until next time, do not forget. Well, there is one more decision here. To reestablish the Bosphoran Kingdom for some reason, let's do it. Uh, yep, not worth it.